Turning now to the coronavirus here in Connecticut. This is a message to healthcare providers across our system, is that as leadership, we're not just advocating for the vaccine. Connecticut took a major step forward in the fight against the coronavirus as the first doses of the vaccine arrived in our state. Within hours, Hartford Hospital employees were the first to receive it. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino was right there. He is joining us live tonight from Hartford Hospital with more details on this big day. Hi there, Mike. Hi, Mark and Aaron. And certainly there was a lot of talk about the historic moment that happened today. We had this vaccine less than a year after this virus arrived here in the United States. Uh, and it's also reportedly very highly effective at 95 percent. But these no the coronavirus numbers are also continue to reach new highs at the same time. So there was also awareness that there's still a lot of work to do. There's only one word that can really describe how I feel inside, and it is excitement. Doctors with Hartford Healthcare seeing signs of hope against COVID-19. The first doses of Pfizer's recently approved vaccine arriving at Hartford Hospital. Today, 15 employees with Hartford Healthcare received some of the first shots in the nation. Doctors and nurses, as well as food and environmental service workers. The 15 people who will be here represent every segment of Hartford Healthcare. The 2000 dose shipment came to Hartford Hospital, one of the few sites in Connecticut with a freezer cold enough for storage. But those doses will now go to the rest of the healthcare network. Another shipment is already expected within seven days. We're trying to get ahead of all supply chain issues. Dry ice is needed to keep the vaccine at 94 degrees below zero during shipment. But it's also used for grocery deliveries, raising concerns about the supply of dry ice. Harvard Healthcare says it's planning ahead, while Governor Ned Lamont is confident the federal government will help. I'd like to think the federal government's taking uh, the lead on that. I think they've done much better on this round than they did on PPE. The coronavirus also continues to spread rapidly throughout Connecticut and the country, putting pressure on the healthcare system to get the vaccine out fast. That's why doctors say safe and fast transport of the vaccine must be a priority. We don't have the opportunity to fail because we don't want to lose any doses. The doctors at the press conference today also reiterated that the vaccine is not a sign that the pandemic is nearly over. In fact, they say that uh, some of the, the safety guidelines like masking and social distancing will likely need to continue for the foreseeable future. Live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.